me start by saying, critics, critics, critics. No one can escape them. I don't know of any entrepreneur, of any visionary, of any dreamer that has escaped the loud voices of social criticism. Every blue collar or white collar worker, unskilled or skilled worker, every athlete, every actor or entertainer, every student or administrator, every human being has been fiercely criticized sometime in their lifetime. The cynical voice of criticism has knocked at every door of every home, every business, and every industry. I would say that if criticism had a sound or a tone, it would be that of a cringing, deafening sound of the wheels from a train that breaks abruptly at a train station. The aggressive voice of criticism will always make your life feel uncomfortable. The violent voice of criticism will make you feel cyclical ups and downs in your emotions. The brutal voice of criticism can be like a rogue wave that comes out of nowhere only to attempt to capsize your dreams under pessimistic comments that add absolutely no value to your life. Destructive criticism points out the faults of something or someone in a disapproving and harmful way. When you are criticized, you're being assessed, you're being evaluated, and compared against a certain standard that does not meet someone else's criteria. Now, if we're honest with one another, we can say that we've all been criticized and denounced by someone who thinks that our lifestyle Perhaps the way we think and carry out our daily activities does not meet someone's criteria. Perhaps our marketing techniques, networking techniques, career objectives, our material possessions or lack thereof do not meet a certain standard. People will incorrectly measure you against a certain communal standard and make false estimations about your plans and your competency to follow through. Organizations will make foul remarks about your business implementation and will attempt to compete against your innovative ideas. They'll criticize your strategies and your value streams. They'll ridicule your assets, your funds, and your corporate vision. People within society will ridicule your education, will make mockery of your work or ministry experience because you do not meet a certain standard according to their perspective. Let me say that these are all encompassing challenges that attempt to push a dark cloud of smoke in the climate of your dreams. These critics would like to grab you by your ankles and tackle your goals to the ground. Sometimes there are things in life that you have to search for, but if you are searching for a critic, they're only an arm's length away. But today I want to approach you and I would like to address those comments that have stretched your patience by bringing to your attention only three reasons why people criticize you. Now, historically, the number of factors as to why people criticize is endless. We can never enumerate the infinite reasons, purposes, motives, and intentions people may have to criticize you. Now, before I start, I want to mention that I am not referring to constructive criticism which is when people desire to address some certain shortcoming in your life or plans because they wish you well and want you to improve in a certain area of your life. Constructive criticism is life-changing and very beneficial to your success. Constructive criticism will always lead you to make much-needed mental, financial, and strategic adjustments. But today, I am referring to destructive criticism, which is criticism intended to harm you, defame you, and discredit you. So let us start by navigating through these three reasons as to why people criticize you. The first reason why people criticize you is because you do not meet their standards. Let me say that again. You do not meet their standards. Now, what is a standard? A standard 
is typically a norm or a measure in which something or someone compares you against. So when you are criticized, someone is directly or indirectly saying that your performance, your plans, and strategies, maybe your way of life does not meet their standards. Perhaps you've been in a position where someone compares you to a certain business practice, to a certain brand or a strategy, and you do not meet that criteria. These are the individuals who always suggest that you have to do this in this manner and speak this way and dress this way and conduct your business in this area or that area that you need to associate yourself with certain individuals in order for you to become successful. Many times they live unproductive lives and still have the boldness to criticize you because you do not meet their standard their norms, and their failing criteria. But let me ask you this. Are you going to abandon your dreams because someone says that you do not fit their mold or their standard? Absolutely not. Don't stop your drive because someone does not see the greatness that is in you. Don't change your approach because someone does not have the insight that you have in this season. It would be futile to change your strategies, lose time and energy and capital because you do not somehow adjust to conform to the norm. I want to advise you and counsel you today saying that you are worth so much more. Now I would like to address the second reason why people criticize you. People criticize you because they suffer from a state of insecurity. Now, I don't use the term inferiority because it would imply lack of self-worth. I would prefer to use the term uncertainty because there are individuals that feel that they themselves don't meet certain rules and models and they criticize others that do. These group of people are uncertain whether they can meet their own budgets, their own personal data analysis models, their own personal business philosophies and decision-making processes, so they retaliate when others do. These individuals are uncertain about their relationships. They distrust their own intuition and are incapable of seeing others succeed in an area in which they themselves are deficient. It does not matter the methods that they attempt to use towards criticizing you. Let that not derail you from your goals. You cannot allow the cowering voices of criticism to change your nature and to change your approach. Your well-defined principles have already provided you with a high degree of belief and conviction of what you need to do and what you were created to do. Finally, the third reason why people criticize is because of a guarded level of self-esteem and reputation. You may say, Daniel, what do you mean by this? Is that people project a false appearance about themselves in public and will criticize you for not meeting their desired expectations. These are individuals who project a particular image in society and criticize you because you have not reached such a brand, a name, a reputation, or a social standing. Companies, organizations, and firms may project themselves as successful when in reality they are at the brink of financial collapse. Just as industries make false claims about a product quality, about innovating services and global investments, People will also make false assertions about their business, their possessions, education, career, and reputation. So just as I have enumerated these three reasons why people criticize, I will also like to uh, provide three counsels, so three advice for you today on how to handle criticism. Now, once again, there are many strategies, there are many tactics, there are many plans, there are many there are many. Uh, ways uh, to conduct therapy regarding criticism, but I simply want to focus on three today. My first advice regarding criticism is don't reply to critics. Don't fuel the fire of criticism. Businesses 
and individuals love to compare and contrast what you have or have not done, what you have achieved or have not achieved. Whatever they decide to predict of you is not your reality. You have the maturity to soar over the fierce winds of criticism. By not replying to critics, you remain focused on what your heart and mind have already confirmed you are capable of. Your silence is not a sign of weakness, but rather it is a great quality of strength, character, and poise in the midst of adversity. My second advice to you is be objective about criticism. Understand the message. Try to understand why they are criticizing you. Identify what was said, when it was said, where it was said, why it was said, and who said it. Identify the root cause of criticism. This may sound as an overly simplistic execution towards identifying the root cause of criticism, but in reality, you have to be objective about criticism. Don't involve yourself in personal quarrels with individuals who may feel they have an upper hand or a position in a company or in a ministry regarding criticism. I can't say enough. Be objective on how to solve the problem. Rectify the situation. Implement sound resolutions and carry out business strategies in an objective manner. Last but not least, my counsel about criticism is to grow out of the situation. Don't go from the situation, but grow. G-R-O-W. Grow out of the situation. Even destructive criticism can highlight certain emotional and character flaws in our lives. Many times when someone has criticized me for something I've said or done, I have to take a moment to assess whether I could have taken a different approach in the matter. If I'm honest, there have been occasions where I could have reacted differently, invested differently, spoken differently, and planned differently. There have been moments... From my past where my ego has taken the best of me. And that's called simply being a human being. We have all need to make spiritual, personal, and professional adjustments. We have all needed to look at the man in the mirror and recognize that a shift, a positive shift, is actually needed. Let me address you again by saying, grow out of the situation. G-R-O-W. Don't run away. Don't go from but grow out of the situation and determine to continue working and improving every area of your life. If you're able to mentally shield yourself from a destructive criticism, you'll be able to construct a platform in which your dreams and aspirations will catapult from towards a prosperous,